I tell people all the time, the thing that we love about baseball is its tradition. The thing that has probably hurt baseball is its tradition. And, and so we do have to be more prudent in how we market our sport to urban kids. I, I go out to schools and say, I say, who wants to play baseball? No hands go up. Everybody wants to play basketball and everybody wants to play football. Our sport is aspirational. You have to see yourself in that light. See, when they see the NBA and they see the NFL, they see people who look just like them who are playing that game. When they look at the Major League Baseball field with that low number of African-American ball players, they don't see that. But this happened quite some time ago when there was a realization that the athletes of color were going to control practically every sport in the country. So they had to reduce the number of athletes of color who playing. So what did they do? They stopped sponsoring inner city baseball. You know, the first hurdle was to get rid of the economic gap that was creating, uh, you know, really was causing kids to not be able to afford to play this game. To understand that it's important that urban kids get the opportunity to play our sport. My husband, CJ Stewart, and I uh, started League back in 2007. And at first, it was in response to the rhetoric of Black boys don't play baseball because we knew otherwise. But as we began to peel back the layers, we knew that we were playing for something much more than trying to help boys um, make it to the MLB, which is why our um, motto for our ambassador program is winning at the game of life. In LEAD, we, we have a five-point plan that intentionally um, gives Black boys that are living at and below the poverty level uh, access to America's um, favorite pastime. This month's core value is stewardship, and stewardship is defined as protecting your opportunity. We're using baseball as a vehicle uh, to develop these young men to become civically engaged um, citizens of this city uh, that is helping us to truly become a world-class city. We got a lot of folks here today who want to get to know you and connect with you and understand what it is to be a part of LEAD, what it means to you, what it does for you. Tell your story, share your story. If LEAD is about helping you stay out of trouble for the summer, be around some positive people, that's what I want you to say. We authentic around here, we real. We 100, as y'all say, okay? Baseball is really an important staple to the black community. Uh, from a sports standpoint and what it can teach athletes, it's a game of failure, it's a game of perseverance, it's a game of adjustments. Baseball and my life relate a lot with each other. Our main purpose is to make sure that these young men are able to use the game to help learn how to think, to help them navigate failure because their failure is gonna be in intricately tied to their success. You're practicing in practice and you're making mistakes that you're trying not to make in the game. So as you make those mistakes in practice, you can you know, fix them and make the adjustments that you had to make so you don't make the mistakes in the game. Just like in the real life, when you're coming from being a teenager, you're making a lot of dumb mistakes so that when you enter adulthood, you don't make those mistakes. A lead has had a big impact in my life. Lead has helped. Lead has saved my life. As a young man, uh, I look for role models to uh, emulate, and these young men are no different. They look for people who look like them, who are successful, who are experiencing some of the things in life that they desire to experience down the road. And so being able to be up close and personal with Coach CJ uh, gives them a chance to see that the dreams that they have are attainable. There are things that they can in fact reach. One of the things that we are able to do a great job of with our ambassadors is giving them a vision for their future based on needs that we have in the city. And then we just put them on the track to meeting expectations to do that. And we want them to understand that what they're learning through baseball can help them grow up to be the mayors, the city council, the city councilmen, you know, the governor. My level of maturity that I grew playing baseball, I feel I'm growing in, you know, my real day-to-day -day life and really influencing me to, you know, pursue my dreams and become a police officer. We're not making empty promises to, to black boys saying, you can become this, you can become that. 
We're doing what has already been done. Thus, lead, launch, expose, advise, direct. Direct using the legacy of past legends as the roadmap to success.